Where is the smallest bone in the body located? <laughs> What's right there? Nothing. Made you look. Oh! Wonders of the world. Like one has got to be Wonderland, but it's literally called Wonderland. Today we're gonna have these grown men compete against a school child in history, science, and spelling. We got a very special guest here today. What's up, man? What's your name, man? How old are you? My name is Fred Paul. I'm 13. What do you want to be when you grow up? Lawyer. Mm, okay. Okay. So we're gonna start off with our very own UV right here and our first round of spelling. How do you think you're gonna do in spelling, man? Hey man, I'm coming here to get my revenge. Back in grade six, I lost by one word. I came second place to a woman named Alani. I'm getting my revenge tonight against you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's right there? Nothing, made you look. <laughs> he's, already, he's already inside his head, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna send you back to your grade six and dreams. <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy right here. Our first word is lullaby. Oh, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. We're Come starting off a little bit easy, you know? Like, I mean, we can all celebrate. This guy's so, this guy's great. I'll sing the lullaby to him right now. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> Locked in as well. Lullaby. Let's see what you guys got. L U L L A B Y. Hey! Oh. You guys both got the first one right. We're starting this off with 1-1, one, one, okay? I think the thing is he has a black hair for his energy today and you don't. The second question. All right, this next word. Shout out my man, Daljito San. Chauffeur, what we got for chauffeur? Right? Get out of here. <laughs> there's not a video that goes by. There's not one single video that Parm records where he doesn't mention Stad. How much Punjabi music do you listen to? It doesn't matter. Oh! Wait, how much do you listen to? How is how is Punjabi is he was? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Notice how the shortest guy is sitting in the biggest chair. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Yo, I'm not almost the same head as you, man. You're on another tall <laughs> chair, yo. All right, let's see what you guys got for chauffeur. C H A U F F E U R. Come on. No point. No point for either of you guys this round. This next word, cappuccino. My man, cappuccino. Cappuccino is an easy word. Do you, like, do you guys know what cappuccino is though? I'm not much of a coffee drinker myself. Stop the cat. What do you say? I'm not much of a coffee coffee drinker. I don't like coffee. Like you eat, you eat <laughs> drink, sleep, food, bro. Like, yo, know, like, yo. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> but this doesn't look right, bro. <laughs> yo, we need a time limit on this guy, man. He's calling the shots now. He doesn't play around. Let's see what you guys came up with. Is that the same? Cap flocky. Okay. What is this one cap, one not cap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. C A P P. We're mature adults. Would you guys have the same one? Cap You guys need to get the point for this one as well. It's last word. Mannequin. What? Wait, what? Mannequin. Mannequin. He said mannequin. He said mannequin at first word. Mannequin. Mannequin. This guy looks locked in right now. Look at this guy. He's locked. Yeah, but in the mirror, I'm not seeing her in. You guys both got mannequin ready? Hold well, up, one letter dilemma right now. What's your favorite subject in school? Hey, man. It doesn't matter! <laughs> <laughs> you mean, not like, you can say a single thing, yo. Let's just want to walk around right now. Guys, just wanted to say a disclaimer. We do not condone bullying. But if you do support child bullying, drop a like on this video right now. <laughs> we will make sure we prevent anti bullying. Let's see where we got. Mannequin. Mmm, different spelling, okay. You really need you really need to work on your letters, man. Uh, honestly, bro, you be your guys writing is the exact same. I, I can't even tell. Let's show the camera. Let's show the camera though. M A N N E Q U I N. Uh, I put an extra N. Hey man. I just wanna say it was a good game. Psych. Oh next up we got our very own Sigma with history. Woo! All right, my guys, first question off the bat. What are the seven world wonders? Whoever gets more gets the answer, right? I think every brown person has been to at least one of the world wonders. Yeah, right? First of all, what, how do you feel about history, man? You know the seven world wonders? I'm yeah. gonna meet this guy, man. Oh, you think you can take him? I won't be surprised, man, because this guy's old. All right, guys, let's see what you guys got. So, Sigma first. Leaning Tower of Pisa, wrong. Oh. Niagara Falls, wrong. Mount Rushmore, wrong. Roman Colosseum, right. Oh, Statue of Liberty, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> what are the local world wonders? First of all, you gotta get more than one. Niagara Falls, wrong. Great Wall of China, 
Right. How did you not get Great Wall of China, bro? Eiffel Tower. Wrong. What's this last one? Leaning Tower of Pizza. Let's get a pizza, bro. Let's get a pizza. Yo, is the Leaning Tower of Pizza actually not a world wonder? That's crazy. So you guys both get a point for this one. Okay, one, one. Mid, 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 mid. Like, bro, Wonders of the Worlds, like, one has got to be Wonderland, bro. It's yeah. literally called Wonderland. <laughs> Next up, how long was the Hundred Year War? <laughs> how long I was the Hundred Year War? Is the, is the question in the room with us? <laughs> yeah, I'll say, like, uh, 10 decades. <laughs> Closest answer wins. How long was the Hundred Year War? 100. And what do you say? 100 years. Okay. Oh, that's better. Yeah, 100 what? 100, 100 what? 100 donuts? 100 seconds, bro. I'm going to give you guys one more guess. You guys both got it wrong. Oh, what? All right, let's see what you guys got. 73. 10. And the answer was 116. You guys both missed. My both got the answer for that one. 100, 100 year war, man. Why, why would it be 10 years if it's 100 years? Bro, war? people love to exaggerate stuff in the past, bro. How tall was Napoleon? I don't know this. All oh, closest answer wins? 300. All closest answer is 300. <laughs> 100 years? <laughs> 116 years? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see how tall he is. How's he, how's he gonna quit? Four foot six, five foot 11. The answer is five foot six. Who's closer? I'm closer. Oh, first of all, got another one. Oh, my man. Who was the first person on the moon? I thought it was the first person. Like, first person? Apparently, Adam. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> if you guys both get the name right, you guys both get a point. Simple. All right, let's see. Neil Armstrong. You guys both got that one right. Okay. You know, just to spice it up, I'll make this last question worth three points. If you if you get it, you. Hundred points. One hundred and sixteen points. One hundred sixteen points. Then, right? What animal was responsible for bringing the Black Death to Europe? All right, let's see what you guys got. Yeah. Rats! Hey, you said just rat though. Same thing. <laughs> one rat. One rat. But one rat was, was infected first. Oh! Oh! My man Pitfall won the round for history. All right. <laughs> good try, good try. Finally, we have our very own Montage with science. Let's pop it up with science, cool, guys. Ooh, ooh, yeah! <laughs> First question, guys. Where is the smallest bone in the body located? <laughs> what do you guys think it is? The, the bottom of the spine. Okay, let's see what you got. Uh, I was thinking maybe in the hand or something, you know? That's, I, I would believe it is hand as well, if I didn't know the answer. All right, let's see what you guys got. Football says, in the foot. And you said nails. Nails? They're nails not even bones? This guy said nails. No, 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 you can't change it! You can't change it! Nah. You guys both got it wrong. The answer is ear. It's in the ear. Oh. The answer was ear. You know what's funny? Like, I won't, like, not even a joke. I was literally gonna write ear first because it, it's like that, like, bone that's. Bro, it's chatting. Blood is chatting. Next up, how many hearts does an octopus have? 15. 300. This sounds pretty easy. I mean, this is pretty general knowledge, you know? This is the real eighth grade stuff. I mean, I know I only got one heart. Oh, <laughs> Delta Orgimira. Let's see what you guys got. How many hearts does an octopus have? Seven. Seven, bro. That's the seven. answer is three. Next up, what does DNA stand for? Whoever gets the closest will take it. Loyalty, royalty. He <laughs> <laughs> gets the point for being funny. At least you tried. What it actually stands for is deoxo deoxyribonucleic. What the? F Deoxyribonucleic acid, man. That's one point for my boy Pitfall. Come on. Okay. What? is the most abundant element in the universe. I don't even know what abundant means, bruh. Abund abundance. My man, let's see what we got. What is it? Water, H2O, hydrogen oxide, water. Mo you guys both got it wrong. The answer was hydrogen. Come on, man. So that's zero points, but that means my man football won this round. Come on, my boy football. Yo, if you guys like this video, check out this video right here. I love you all. Catch you all next time, man. Peace. All right, simple as that, easy.